Hey man, what's good with y'all guys? Hopefully y'all having a wonderful day. It's your man Sharon with another video. But look, look, look. I know a lot of y'all been asking. A lot of y'all been asking some of your homies, some of the people who top rep, what's the best way for me to get rep at the park without me having to play games over and over and over. But I'm gonna give y'all the best rep method of how to get rep in the park, the fastest way to get y'all rep bars moving up there extremely fast. So look, check this out. I'm going to be telling you the badges you want to need, the method, it's a few methods to be honest, and what gets you the most points. So as you see in the gameplay, you you see me catch oops. This is one key thing too. Oops are the main key thing. So look, if you're a recipient of catching the oops, or like you're the one who's receiving, you're the receiver of the oop, you will get a lot, but not as much as what the guard will get that's throwing you the oop. Recently, 2K has put a cap on alley-oops. Alley-oops did not have a cap. When I mean a cap, you only can throw six alley-oops a game with it counted. So if you throw more than six, the seventh one will not count. So remember that if you're throwing oops. So as I was saying, the guard gets more percentage or actually more points if they're throwing oops. This game rewards you more on passing and sharing the ball than you scoring all 22 points. But on this gameplay, you just seen, look how much I got this game. I got 10,966. Most of those are on well-defended plays. And I only said I had one alley-oop dunk. So you got to pay attention what counts as an alley-oop dunk and what's not an alley-oop dunk. So it is a difference between an alley-oop dunk and an alley-oop layup. But certain ones actually cancel out. So if you go to the hole and the player is too close to you, it won't even count as alley-oop dunk. I tried it a few times, it won't count. But you see how you throw me lobs and cutting to the hole? This is with aggressive driving to the lane and passing out. So look, if you get an aggressive take to the hole and throw an oop or pass the ball, that counts as well. So aggressive takes to the hole, passing out to the corner, passing out to the wing, they will get you a lot of reps. So make sure you try that, but also, the rep is based on your archetype. So make sure you, oh, I'm not about to just hop on a lockdown, run to the hole, pass out, and think I'm gonna get the same as a playmaking shot creator or playmaking slasher. If you're a primary playmaking build, you're gonna, of course, get more rep. So when I see Sin go to the hole, he kick out or he throw a oop, I know how much he reps he's going to get. I can just tell. But you seen that right there, it said NA when I got that layup. So it sometimes might count and it might not count. But look, I'm in a corner. This is one thing as well if you're a receiver, not the alley-oop receiver, but actually a receiver on a three-point line, this comes in handy too. But I'm going to show you the badges that you're going to need when it comes to stuff like this. So look, look, look. He's throwing me oops. Look what the badges I have on. I got, I think I got Lob City Finisher on silver or something like that. That's all you need. That's all you need, but I will be showing you the best badges. So you see, I almost dropped literally all the points. I think I scored 16, 15 points this game. I had seven for seven. You remember, you only get throw six oops a game. The last shot was a three-pointer, so make sure you remember that. I shot one three-pointer out of the six oops, and my teammate, he got 12.5K that game. And I only got like 10K. No, I ain't gonna say only. 10K is a lot per game. So this will maybe work on twos, but I prefer to do aggressive take to the hole and kick out. For the facilitator of the group, basically the guards, anybody who's throwing the oops, anybody who's throwing the flashy passes, you want to need Lob City Passer on Hall of Fame, gold, whatever you can get up to, but it does work very well on silver. So look, Needle Threader. Needle Threader is to make the pass go faster as well and get off them crazy passes that supposed to get stolen in the air. So look, Flashy Passer, it boosts your teammate's takeover bar. This helps a lot. I will talk more about this Flashy Passer batch. You really, really need this. Even if you do a Flashy Pass, Without the flashy pass batch, bro, it's it's just crazy still. But Dimer, only reason I'll tell you put Dimer on just in case. But if you don't want Dimer, just put those three badges that you really need. Needle Threader, Flashy Passer, and Lob City Passer. So look, when I tell you to put Needle Threader on, this is just for the pass to get there fast enough. Because this is a lot of times, somebody throw me a flashy pass, it make them do a behind and back rap when, it, when you're trying to just do a love tap pass to me on the wing so make sure you put needle threader on too so look well, i'm gonna show you this this is finishing this is all you need for finishing you don't even need it on gold you don't you can put it on silver even though i'm a lockdown i'm only showing you what i can get i only get it on gold but make sure make sure you upgrade this when people are throwing you lobs it don't matter if it's a standing lob it don't matter if you're doing a pro-am method when you stand on the block and somebody throw you open it's just instant but all my shooters 
the main receiver isn't being on a three-point line or mid-range, you want to always have this quick draw if you're a shooter or if you're just spotting up for somebody, you, it's up to you. This is based on you. You don't have to have quick draw, but if you're a main shooter, you're going to have this. Range extender, if you're just spotting up on the three-point line, you don't need this on Hall of Fame, but you can get another badge with it. Green Machine is very important, but catch and shoot, you do not need catch and shoot on Hall of Fame. All you need is an on go. If you're one of those type of players that spots up in a corner, you really don't even need corner specialists. But it's very nice to still have on silver because that's the that's the best actually badge that works in the corner. Corner specialist on silver. But if you don't want corner specialists, you can go with volume shooter on Hall of Fame, or you can go with the steady shooter on Hall of Fame. It's up to you. You can do go Hall of Fame anyway. Go, but if you're gonna go volume shooter, try to go to the highest you can. Try to get on go Hall of Fame just to get your percentages boosted up, even without the dimer, even with the dimer. It doesn't matter as long as you got that. But also a good badge is hot start. If you hit your first shot, it's basically with volume shooter. Basically, you hit the first shot, you basically got volume shooter on for the rest of the game until you miss. But Anybody that do pick and pops, I don't know if that badge is really actually good. But if you're going to do a pick and pop, I really don't think you need that badge if you have catch and shoot on. So look, as you see, he's throwing me oops. And I'm going to talk more about this flashy passer badge. So, flashy passes. Anybody who throws flashy passes, most of them know you're going to get a boost to your stamina bar. Even if you don't have the badge, you're going to get a boost. It might be a big boost, but it's going to be bigger than what you get normally on the bar. But if you have the badge on... You have to have at least a badge on gold to make it actually effective. So anybody that's going to throw a flashy pass, say if you throw me a flashy pass, I'm going to wing, just chilling, waiting for you to pass to me. Throw me a flashy pass, I green it. I'm going to get a boost on my bar that will stop almost closely to the O and the V. Once I take my second shot, I will end up getting all the way to the A and the K. But if I end up getting a rebound or I end up actually saying a good screen or something like that, I would end up getting takeover that fast. It only take almost like two and a half shots. When I say two and a half shots, I mean two shots and maybe a rebound or a good defensive play, and you will end up getting it. Or you end up taking a dunk and you will end up getting it. But look at the badge I have on. I have Lob City Finisher on silver. I want you to pay very attention to this. Lob City Finisher on silver works good as well. You don't need a Hall of Fame, but it actually is good. That's one of the best finishing badges when you catch an oops. It's the only finishing badge when you catch oops, but it actually works. Certain badges on this game still does not work. As you see, he throw me a oop. I'm going up for it. But as you see, I missed that. I was out of stamina. That's one thing as well. So... If you're out of stamina, you're trying to catch an oop, your percentage goes down. So remember that when you're going for an oop and you out of stamina and there's somebody under the hole, you're going to miss that dunk because you have no stamina. So you see, I'm pushing the ball up the court, looking for my guard. I pull up. I said, skip it. I'm going to pull up. It's no point. I might as well pull up. My rank extender is on, on Hall of Fame. I don't really need it on Hall of Fame, but I just have it. So we're going for it again. He gave it to me again. Easy oop. Score off the assist. For any centers that's watching this video and you like an uh, inside center, I got you, bro. Blocks get you a lot for rep as well. So if you get blocks, it comes in handy. You maybe get almost three blocks will get you almost 3,000. So remember that. Three blocks will get you 3,000. Six assists can get you up to 5K based on how you threw them. And if they didn't get you didn't get a turnover, those really, that, that matters as well. So look, and if you're the recipient catching the oops, the most you can get for catching oops is like 3.5K. Because I caught five oops, I only got 3K. So when I catch another oop, it's going to be like around 4K, 3.5, something like that. But if you're a center, the best thing for you to do is when you get box out and you get defensive stops in the paint, that gets you the most. So when you play defense as a center or you set good screens, they will get you a lot. Pass the assist on any player, don't matter who you are, you get a small little boost when you pass to get it. Pass the assist when you pass it, get the rebound to somebody else, and then they pass it to somebody and they get the assist. You get a small little boost this year that you actually get some type of takeover to it. You don't get no takeover in 2K19 that I know of because there's so many times I pass the ball to somebody else and it wasn't for my assist, but I didn't get anything. But in 2K20, they made it this year that you have to pass the ball. Not have to pass the ball, but if you're going for rep or you're trying to get some rep, you have to actually involve your teammates, especially on twos. Twos, that's the worst because a lot of centers, they know when they play twos, they might be only getting like 7K a game. 7K a game is the average of what I get on park. If you're trying to become a top rep or a high rep or you're a casual that's just trying to get rep, this is one of the best things for you to do. If especially you got some homies that's trying to hoop, tell them to throw you oops if you can catch the oops. Don't do it if you can't. But if you see my catch and shoot and my green machine pop up, or if you're a shooter, tell them to hit you. Don't be like, oh, bro, I'm going to just score 20 points in this game. No, bro, if y'all trying to get rep, 
make sure y'all pass the ball. That's one thing about it. It's cool to ISO and all, but if it's other people, that's one thing about me. When I ISO, I make sure I help my other teammates that's on the court to get rep as well. I'm not going to score all 22 points every game. I'm going to set my teammates up to get rep. As you see at the end of this video, look, 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 check this out. At the end of this game, I got 9.9K. 9.9K, that's for five oops. Imagine if I would have made that one oop that I missed when I was tired. I would have had 10K. So make sure I remember that. Oops, flashy passes. Flashy passes don't get you that much, but it gets the job done. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It being Mr. Mama. Make sure you follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Put on post notifications if you haven't yet. And I'm out, y'all. Peace. Best bet is keep it closer, nigga. Cause y'all want the roses, nigga. I trip in the wind, walk up in the dollar, nigga. Get money, get bigger. Had a pussy, nigga, dance when I squeeze the head trigger. Y'all ain't getting to the figures. Get off your ass and get some cash and maybe it'll fix ya. Better leave him this figure. It'll send him to his master, nigga, take his man's with him. If there's really boss, man, he would've ran on him, but he would've ran with him. Not